So if you looked at the, I can't say service video because there was nothing to service. It's another of these new sets like I did the Midland 18 last week. It's the same chassis basically with a couple of extra chips for whatever extra features it's got. But seeing as the instruction book is just this quick guide and there's not even a downloadable full instruction book like there is for the, the 18 model, I can't even tell you what features it's got because you've got this in about seven languages. So the English bit is is little more than one full column. So um, obviously it's a multi-norm. Um, we got 2.9 watts out of it, something like that. And the deviation was low. We can't adjust that. And if it's the same transmitted audio as on the 18, it left quite a lot to be desired because it was a bit AGC laden. Now. The receiver on this is absolutely excellent. Was it 0.2? Let's look at the clipboard. 0.26 microvolts for 12 decibel sound. Absolutely excellent. Uh, build quality. It's a plastics case, but it's a, inside. It's a diecast chassis, and every compartment, which in cheaper sets uh, would have been tin plate uh, screening things, which were just soldered on. It's all diecast and then screwed into position. So it's like a UHF radio in its build quality, but it's just let down that we're not aware of any adjustments. I've looked through for all hidden menus and all that. I wish the manufacturer had talked to me on this, but there you go. Uh, it, it's it's sad because there may be something I can do to make these, this a little bit better. Like making it do 4 watts instead of 2.9 and making it do a bit more deviation. It comes with the new improved mic. I don't know what the old uh, unimproved one was. It feels great, but um, I say the transmitted audio was was not brilliant on the 18. So we're going to see what it's like now, and we're going to be able to switch when we get to the five mile point. We'll switch between um, UK. We'll go on to the CPT band. We'll test it FM and AM. Then we'll go back to UK. So we're going to give it a go. See Mr. Chippy's out there. We'll go to Mega Chippy channel. You get a bigger display, that's about it. Just to remind you of the other one. At least you don't get a cigarette lighter plug thrown at you. The other one is this one, same number of knobs, but there must be some extra features for the extra money. Uh, so the 18 was 110 euros and the 28 is 130 euros. Tango 21, Mr. Chippy. Roger, off we go. Roger that. Right, I'll get my extension speaker plugged in. Just like that. We'll run it on auto squelch. Right, that's in the house and recording. Roger, Dodger. I've got no uh, things like tone controls. Roger that. Um transmit audio and that's not great. No, I'll tell you right now, it's a brand new Midland 28 which uses the same basic chassis as the 18 we did last week. Ah, right. Fair enough. So deviation's a little low and uh, it, you reported, when, well certainly I heard myself on the video that um, on the 18 it was very AGC laden over. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's, it's plenty loud enough, no problem that way, it's just, yeah, it's very pinched and uh, AGC sounding. We discovered when we got to the 5 bar point last time, it actually sounded better on AM, obviously it didn't work better, but it sounded better. Yeah, Roger, that will pass the, uh, well, I'm on the main road now, I forgot to call in at the uh, end of the lane. Roger, I'm sure I can piece the video together. Way. It's just, yeah, it's very pinched and uh, AGC is sounding. We discovered when we got to the fire bar point last time it actually sounded better on AM. Obviously, it didn't work better, but it sounded better. Yeah, right, that will pass the uh, well, I'm on the main road now. I've got to call in at the uh, 
end of the line. I'm sure you will. Right, uh, so we're just about to pass Ancaster service station and it's closed. Clear going around Scratchy Corner at Willsford.
Right, there's somebody parked in the usual spot, so we'll have to do it from here. No problem, sir. Let me know when you're ready. Tango 21 from Mr. Chippy, we're now at the five mile point. You got you at the five mile point, so I'm on the middle of the 28 brand new set. It's doing 2.8 watts and drawing 978 milliamps to do so. So I'm going to go to uh, the CPT same channel, so CPT 31 FM. Yep, roger that. Tango 21, go ahead. We're talking to you now on CPT FM. The race is drawing a little bit more current. I don't know what the power output is. It's probably just over 3 watts now. So, can we go to AM? Yep, roger that. We'll do right now. Tango 21, Mr. Chippy on AM CPT. Tango 21, yep. Uh, very noisy, but... Um, as expected, the actual audio quality is better on air. Roger on that, go back to UK FM. Roger that, see you back on UK. Okay, 21 back on UK. Yep, roger that, I'll receive, no problems. Here you go when you're ready. Roger. Tango 21 for Mr. Chippy, when are the five mile point? Roger got you at the 5 mile point. So, I'm on the Midland 28 brand new set. It's doing 2.8 watts and drawing 978 milliamps to do so. So, I'm going to go to uh, CPT same channel. So, CPT 31 FM. Yeah, roger that. Tango 21, Mr Chippy. Right, we're talking to you now on CPT FM, and the radio's drawing a little bit more current. I don't know what the power output is, it's probably just over 3 watts now. So, can we go to AM? Yep, we'll do that, we'll do that now. Tango 21, Mr Chippy, on AM CPT. Roger on that, go back to UK FM. Tango 21 back on UK. Yep, roger that, I'll receive no problem. Right, off you go when you're ready. Roger. Right, we're on the move again. level crossing have you got a petrol price for me at that end please over yeah 139.9 on 144.7 okay that worked fine on receive and uh, i'll say 1010 10. yeah roger that 1010 10. okay so yeah that worked uh, absolutely fine on receive figures are great on the test set 
So transmit 2.8, 2.9 watts. Um, and as I say, I can't see any way of adjusting that. And uh, disappointing audio, I think we'll find when I edit this together. So, I'll go through to our base station, our Midland 76900 from 1982, which has the Cybernet 134 chassis in it. See what it sounds like on there. 